just are two weeks away. Uh, Juliet Sears getting you ready for a spooky season with three devilish, delicious treats. Is that right? That three dishes. Got three treats. All really easy and really, really fun. I love doing this sort of thing. I know I'm you like, do. Yeah. You get all excited, don't I you? I do, I know. I'm, I'm a big <laughs> child at heart. Um, so we're starting off with my Rice Krispie treats. So you've got, got these here. So these are really cute little... Um, so should we go into with this one first? Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to make first of all. So <laughs> it's essentially making, like, your normal Rice Krispie treats. So you've got marshmallows and butter. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's quite a big wedge. That I've got a big crash it? coming my way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's very sugary. <laughs> so what you want to do is just melt that up and then a little bit of vanilla. Well, and then got marshmallows and butter, is that right, isn't it? Marshmallows and butter, yeah. Just, and that's going to all stick it together. Look how lovely is that. Do you want to melt it so it's kind of nice and uh, lump-free? Yeah. And then I'm going to add some green food colouring to it. So I've done Frankenstein's, but you could do anything. You could do, you could make these red and do, like, vampires. Yeah. Or you idea. could do... Um, how do you know how much to stick in? Like, just, do you ever... I know, but do you ever, like... Cos it's so concentrated, do you ever stick too much in? Because you, I guess, yeah. Because yeah. you can't take it away, I guess. You can't take it away, but it's not the end of the world. It's just super bright, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, these are quite strong. It doesn't affect the taste strong. at all, does it? No, no, it's exactly. Does it taste differently, or does it still It doesn't taste... affect the taste. Oh, I mean, okay. this is really, really bright, but once I get that in there with the Rice Krispies, it's kind of going to go lighter. Look at that! Look at that. It looks... It's like slime. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, you could do any colours and make monsters or all sorts of things, but I'd, I've gone for the Frankenstein today. Where did you get these little cutie eyes from? Um, Are they really easy to buy? Buy them in the supermarkets now. Really? You, yeah, you know you've got, like, the baking section where you get all your cupcake cases and everything? Like, yeah. I picked some up yesterday in our local supermarket. Because I think people do love doing all this type of oh, thing. Of course they do. At, at Halloween with the kids. So there's, there's loads out there. So literally all you do is put it in, in there. This next bit looks quite satisfying. Sorry? I said this next bit looks quite oh, satisfying. Yeah. It's really, it's really, oh, it's really, really crunchy yeah. and fun. I love, oh, it's, I love, I'd love to get into a big bath full of Rice Krispies. <laughs> like famous with, yeah, with sprinkles, like, you know that feeling. Krispies. Yeah. Yeah. I so literally rice. you just need to mix that all through until they're completely coated. Whoops. It is quite sticky and it will take a bit of time. Lovely. So you get the idea. Yeah. yeah. And then you mash all that in. Mash it all in. And then you want to put mash it into it a lined tin. Um, so tip it in and then press it down with a spatula. Yeah. And if you want to really, really press it hard, just get a bit of baking paper and you can press it without getting your hands all sticky. Mm -hmm. Or even use another tin, another square tin and just press it down so it goes really nice and kind of compacted. Yeah. And then literally you'll just cut them up. They'll just take about an hour or so to... Um, <coughs> in the fridge to... or not? Um, I put them in the fridge, yeah, and then just cut them into your bars. Do you know what? I think I would reduce the size of these because they really are make. big, Juliet. You could. You could probably even go down like that and make sort of like two yeah. like, if you wanted to, to make uh -huh. them a bit thinner. They're so cute, though. And all you want to do is just literally then decorate them. So I've dipped them in chocolate. Um, I've made some holes in the sides. Yeah. And I've just got some little pretzel sticks and made the Too little bolts. Cute. Good. Put them in there and then get the googly eyes. If you can't find them in the supermarket, you can use some uh, chocolate buttons and a bit of, like, more um, chocolate for the eyeballs. My hands are really sticky now because of that. And, George, would you need, um, like, edible glue or something to stick them on with? I would just use a little bit of the chocolate just to, oh, great. to stick it, because I'm just using the chocolate now to um, do his little sort of, like, funny face. So just kind of go... Do you, know, do you get sad when your kids grow up and they don't want to do stuff like this anymore? Cos I do, cos my son doesn't want to do it. Really? A bit, but mine like doing things like do this. Do they? Yeah, they, yeah that, they, we like to get creative. Um, I think they're all used to me doing it all year round and they will help me, um, especially... Um, my middle one, Lydia, she loves doing all that. Oh, She's really arty and creative, so yeah, we Aiden still cook. carry on. A good cook. Yeah, he uses the air fryer all the time. Yeah. And that's why he just it's bangs good, it in there. He's just doing it. Oh, yeah, he has to. <laughs> He's on his own now. He's got a choice life. <laughs> <laughs> I did that pretty quickly. Yeah. So basically, just. That was quick. Um, yeah, what have you done over there? <laughs> a bit of melted chocolate, some pretzel sticks, and then just put them into the melted chocolate, let them set in the fridge, and then literally all you do... And then it just picks up I like, like that. I like yeah. the sweet and salty flavour of this. Oh, nice. I do, because I like That's the sweet so too. so clever, isn't it? Yeah, and it's really fun, they're quite good structures, and then literally you can just add some Halloween sprinkles to those. And they're really nice to do. You could do them in dark chocolate milk, any chocolate you like, and um, they look really nice if you're doing like, a Halloween party, like decorating the table. Yeah. So simple. And, 
And you don't have to do this just for Halloween. It's like spooky season, so it's a great sort of activity to do in half term. Just like monsters uh, for all year round, not just for Halloween, in my view. This spider looks really difficult to do. Yeah. It it does well. It's actually really simple. So it? literally, you know the pastry. You get the sheets of it. It's all ready roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just get the sheets of the ready roll pastry. Which one? Like the short crust just phyllo. Just, no, the puff pastry. Puff pastry. For this one. Um, just ro lay out one sheet. And then I've got some um, Nutella there. Any yeah, chocolate yeah, spread yeah. you can use, or jam, anything you like. I have had a little it... bit of that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't, no, might I don't have mind. It's, it's one of those things you can't stop. Like no, I might have a peanut butter. The best. Or you could do peanut butter and, and chocolate. Peanut butter would, would be, be good. really nice. Anything you want. Then sandwich it together with another piece, and then I've cut them into four. So I've just got cut around a cutter like this, um, and then literally just take away these parts. So you've got kind of like a, a bow tie shape. Yeah, and then all you need to do is cut in half like that. And you can do this with cheese as well, can't well, you? Well, as soon as I go home, I'm doing cheese and pesto. Are you actually I joking? Do, I, no, I'm not so what, serious. Would you just no put idea. a slice of cheese in between I would them just or how would it work? Gra grated. grated cheese, a bit of grated cheddar or parmesan. Would it be still a, like a cheesy spider? It would be cheesy. And I'm going to do oh. mine with some pesto and I'm going to make my egg wash black as well. I'm going to make oh, it all... Nice. So, yeah. Oh, my so, gosh. Because I just... So I love doing all sorts of creative things like that with savoury food just as much as sweets. It, it yeah. works, you know, you can do the same sort of thing. You could probably even do parmesan webs with this. Nice. Um, and then literally all you need to do to create those legs is just give them a twist like that. It's so oh. easy. Yeah, it's really easy. And you can do big ones. Like, there's loads of these all over TikTok and Instagram. And you can do giant ones. You can do different sizes. Um, and when, they're, when they come out warm out of the oven or a bit of... Oh, they're so delicious. A bit of icing sugar dusted over the top. So, I'll, obviously, I'll egg wash these. And again, That's I'm just amazing. using a regular egg wash here, but you can use food colouring in your egg wash. So bake those for about 20 minutes till they're really, really crusty. Crusty? You know what I mean? <laughs> crusty, you know, crunchy, old and, crusty old spiders. Crunchy and delicious. And then, um, lastly, decorate those with some more of the like, googly eyes once they're all baked. Really, really fun. Such a really great amazing. idea for Halloween. Yeah. So good, Brilliant Juliet. Choice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to make Juliet spooky treats, you can find all the recipes on our uh, This Morning app.